All righty, guys, Madman Mundell coming at you live from the Garden of Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Mr. Jonathan Odom. All righty. Jonathan went ahead. He purchased the console off the website. And well, Jonathan, here it is. Trinity. Got an HP3 in it. 250 gig drive. Uh, we did your blue fan wrap. We did your modded ROL. It's up on the line servers along with the 10-day trial. With the purge. It's got uh, BO2, MW3, and Ghost All Posts as well. Along with Jiggy and Sentinel. Okay? Guys, good to see you guys. Yeah, what's up? Joey, Reflex. Doing good, doing good. We made it back from Tennessee. We made it back in one piece. I didn't get mauled by a bear. And, um, you know, thankfully I didn't get anally raped either. But anyway, uh, let's move on from that. Okay? It was, it was a good trip. Okay? So anyway, went ahead and, um, yeah, I, I love that place. It's a beautiful place. Um, Probably going to wind up buying property up there. I see it coming. So, you know, anyway. You know, they say this isn't brick and mortar, so I can move it anywhere I want. <laughs> so, anyway. Jonathan, we went ahead and we uh, got you all going here. Okay, Steve, how you doing, man? Good to see you. It's good to see you guys. It really is. But we got you all going here. Okay, so it's all done. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to light the I'm gonna light the fire here. We did your blue fan wrap, as you can see. All right. And then we did your seven color changing um, ROL. And, uh, you know, we did the colors of what you wanted right there, okay? And she booted up. Good to go. I'm going to set you up right here. Oh, yes, who can forget Deadpool? <laughs> okay, now, I'm going to set you up here. There you go. All right, that way you can see it. There's Chris. How you doing, buddy? Just made it back. All right. Now, okay, we're booting up. Let me grab hold of the controller here, okay? Here we are. We get one more notification from the bird letting us know that it's Good, and there you go. All right, now. All right. Now, Jonathan. Okay, let's scroll through this thing, shall we? All right. Look, under emulators. Okay, Genesis Plus 360, SNES 360, and main. The compliment, of course. Your Xbox Classic Games. There's a bunch on there for you to play. All right, you got your homebrew section right here. All right, with all of your tools that are needed for you to destroy the console in mere seconds. And, of course, we have Xbox Live Arcade, and we read my boggling amount of arcade games as well. Okay, and as you can see, there's a look. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them up in Tennessee. They were hanging out by a uh, trailer park or whatever. Anyway, all right. And then, of course, we have our regular Xbox 360 games, okay? And as you can see, we have a full complement of Xbox 360 games on here to keep you busy for a while and then some. All right, there you go. Now, all right, now, you have multiple dashboards on this thing. I'm going to go through that real quick with you, okay? Through the dash launch, there you are. All right, now, as you can see, you got your paths, okay? And, of course, we have freestyle. Button B will bring you to FX menu. Button X will bring you to XEX menu. Button Y will bring you to stock dashboard. And holding in the left bumper will bring you to Aurora. All right, now, as the console is booting up, when you get the Xbox logo, press the, the appropriate button, and that, that's the dashboard below. If you want to change the dashboard to... Uh, to default out to like Aurora or FX menu or whatever, it's really easy. All you gotta do is highlight default, hit A, alright, bring it down. Well, back out of the uh, back out to the root to the root directory right here by hitting A. Then go to Aurora, okay, or FX menu or whatever, whichever one you want, right? Go down to Aurora XEX, hit A, okay, and it puts it there. Hit the RB button, bring it down to H E D, hit X button to save it. There you go. And then all you gotta do is just hit B to back out. And now what it'll do is it will run Aurora, as you can see. There you are. Aurora is already set up. You don't have to do a damn thing to it. All right. Everything is already preloaded and done, as you can see. All right. That's our Xbox 360 games. Bring it back. There's our uh, Xbox Live Arcade, our emulators, our classic games, and our homebrew, and our indie games, and then of course show all, which is everything. Okay. Hitting the back button will bring you to the uh, system menu here where you have file manager, scripts, restart, reboot, shut down. All right. Hitting the start menu, that will bring you to your assets, your profile, content, with your content folders already laid out for you so you don't have to mess with that. Uh, you know, your modules for, uh, you know, for FTP and Nova, which is like a form of link, same thing. Okay. You have your language security in the back. Okay. Now, we will set this back up to boot FSD. All right, let's see here now. I'm at Classic. Yep, there we go. All right, we'll go to our homebrew section. We'll go to Dash Launch. It'll run Dash Launch. It'll bring up the paths, and we're going to swap this back, okay? So, here we go. Let's see. We'll go to paths. We'll go to default. 
we'll back out to the root, fo uh, root folder, we'll go to freestyle, we'll use the fault on XEX, alright, hit RB, bring it down to HDD, X to save it, B to back out, there you go, and now you'll be running FSD, okay? Then I'm going to show you, alright, what we got here, alright, we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll through here now to get to the original dashboard, okay, for the Xbox, just go to your homebrew section right here, go to dashboard, hit it, hit it again, guess what, you'll see, there you are, life is good, should be up online and live, our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD, over in our fifth tab we have our BO2 cheats, ghost cheats, and modern warfare 3 cheats, okay, and then bring it back, go back to Xbox Home and that'll take you back, okay, now, alright, uh, just to demonstrate a couple of things here, here we are. Yes, Chris, I'm alive. I, and I'm a blue unicorn. Now I'm an alien riding a unicorn. I love you, Chris. You know that, right? Hey, Harley, how are you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat Chris up, okay? But I love him dearly like a brother. He is a good friend and has always been there for me. And even with his unicorn jokes, including the freaking Deadpool one with the freaking unicorn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the type of guy he is, okay? So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Oh, notice the rainbow, okay, <laughs> now, um, <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here, we'll sign into a profile right here, I've already got one on here, so we'll hit that, should sign in, there you are, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in touch with my feminine side, with my plaid skirt, okay, now, we'll go to Xbox 360 games, alright, now just to show you, just to give you a little bit of a, uh, of what the off host is and everything. All the off hosts work, work the same way for MW3, BO2, and Ghosts, okay? D-pad left to open the menu, X to select, B to back out, okay? So I'll tell you what, we'll run BO2, all right? Now, you don't have to run it any special way. It, it, it loads right from the dash. You don't have to do, you don't have to go to the full multiplayer or any crap like that, thank God. Anything to not complicate it. I do have a developer that knows what he's doing, thank God. All right, now. We'll go ahead and we'll hit start here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we know. He's on the ground. His blood from the back of his head. Yes. Like he got hit by a hitman. Okay. Now. All right. We'll go ahead. We'll do this. Here we go. Welcome David Mason. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know. Okay. So we'll turn up the visibility a little bit so that way I can see what the hell I'm doing here. There we go. Okay. We're good. All right. Yeah, we'll bring this out. Yeah, we'll bring this out. Okay, we'll hit it. Yes, I want the graphic content. Of course I do. We'll go right to multiplayer. Alright. Now, this will boot up and we will wind up with multiplayer. You will see the sheets are loaded. There you go. Life is grand. Alright, now. We'll go, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a local game. Alright, this is a local profile. Alright. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to set the game up. Let's see what we can do here. Set up the game. Okay. Change the map. We're going to use a small map. Something tiny. Okay, good. We'll change the game mode. We're going to do uh, free for all, of course. All right. We'll back out of there. We'll set up the bots. We'll use nine of them for target practice. Okay. And then we'll start the match. Now. All right. For Jiggy, hold in the left trigger. Push down on the right thumbstick. Okay. A to select. X to back out. All right. For the uh, for the off post, D pad left to open the open the off post. X to select. B to back out. Um. And D pad left. D pad left to close the menu. So we'll start it off. I'm going to start off with Jiggy first, and that way then I, I'm invincible, and nobody can shoot me in the face or anything like that, okay? We'll go through this, and remember, the all posts work all the same for all the other ones, okay? Just to let you know. To pick a gun, okay, there we go. We'll do some, uh, we'll do quick mods there. That way then that's all taken care of, okay? And then what we'll do, we'll hit X to back out of that. Yeah, we'll go to bullets. What the hell? Yeah, swarms. Grenades, explosives, RPG, oh yeah, hunter killers, yeah, there we go. And flare bullets, yeah. And then we'll equip the bullets so that they carry frag grenades and semtex and concussions and combat axes and C4, and flash grenades, and sensor grenades, and shock charges, claymores, there you go, okay? Now we should be good there. Hey, buddy. How you doing, huh? <laughs> you like that, didn't you? Right up your radius, huh? Ah, his anal cavity's on fire. Look at that. <laughs> In fact, he's like completely like gone. Um, yeah, okay. So anyway, for the for the all post D pad left, there you are. No recoil, max ammo. We'll turn this all on. Okay. 
And then we'll do the aimbot menu. We'll turn that on. We'll do on screen. Yep, there we go. We'll hit that, okay? And we'll do the ESP. We'll turn that on. We'll put pyramids around them just for the hell of it. And there we go, okay? And the snap lines turn blue. Just friggin' let them have it. Just like that, see? Works real good, I promise, okay? And then, of course, with Gigi, you can fly through walls. Oh, yeah. You do all kinds of crazy stuff through here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, how you doing, eh? Let's fly through the air. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wee-hee! Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, they're all dead. Everybody's dead, okay? Yeah, they work really good, you know? Now, to become a real prick, go to Aimbot right here. Go to Unfair Aimbot. And then pretty much, uh, you're going to kill everything in sight and everybody's going to be dead. And victory is mine because I'm the biggest penis on the face of the earth. There you go, okay? So, as you can see, it works real good, okay? We'll back out of here. Look, look, wait a minute, look, nope. And then, of course, we have, we have our sentinel for zombies, okay? Which works really good. Hey, Bonto, how are you, man? All right. So, anyway, we're done here, okay? Life is grand. Now, what we'll do... Alright, is we will back out of here, okay? Yes, we want to leave the lobby. Yes, we want to go to zombies, okay? Now, just to show you zombies, okay? Now, this menu is a little little different. You hold in the left trigger and put down the right thumbstick, which is cool, alright? However, though, you need that to get to back out of the menu as well and back out of the sub-menus, okay? So, we'll do a local game right here, alright? Now, okay. There's your spinning... Yes, we'll do that. Yes, we'll do transit. There you go. Original. And we'll start the map. Okay? Now, I'm going to hold in left trigger, put down right thumbstick. That'll bring up the central menu. Okay? Yeah, the old 50s music. That's right. I'm going to eat your soul. Okay, and there's sentinel. Alright, we're going to use X to select, which we turn God Mode on, infinite ammo, uh, unlimited sprint, double speed, no clips, okay? We'll toggle the aimbot on, okay, now we'll hit the left trigger and push down on the right <laughs> thumbstick, that'll bring us out, weapons menu, and we'll use my favorite right there, okay? And then we can go to weapons options, whoop, and we can use pack a punch okay? And, uh, yeah, let's see here. Oh, it's maybe. There you go. Yeah, we use, uh, yeah. Mustang and Sally. Cool. Yeah, that works good. There okay, you know, I mean, you can see. Okay, and we'll get out of there. And, yeah, we got weapon camo, too, I think. Yeah, tap one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that, ooh, invisible. Like that. Uh-huh. Yep, there we go. Yeah, and as you can see, it works pretty good. All right. And then, uh, we'll back out of here. You can also, uh, you can also, like, spawn a whole bunch of them if you want. And then blow the face off, okay? Uh, you can spawn more, okay? And then you can hit kill all zombies, okay? That makes it real easy, okay? Um, let's see here. There's all kinds of crazy stuff on here. Um, all right, now, okay, well, we'll do that. Uh, bitch, get out of here. Yeah, get out of my face, okay? Um, let's see, you got the teleport menu where you spawn... Tunnel, diner, diner roof, farm, all that shit. It's all there. Okay? As you can see. And it all works very, very well. So there you go. Okay? So anyway, we'll get out of there. Okay? Now. Alright. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get this thing online for the first time. Oh, hey, when it does that, it choose, it choose the skin to that freaking profile. Damn it, i got to change that. Okay. Now, yeah, it's got some pretty crazy uh, skins on here uh, as well. Yeah, we can go to Victoria Cruz, but that might piss people off, so we'll go here, okay? Anyway, we'll back out of there, hit reboot, and we'll reboot it, and now it'll bring up, and now it'll bring up the uh, the Dream Thing menu, and you can choose and change whatever colors you want on it and everything. It's got all kinds of crazy settings on it, okay? Now look, <clears throat> all right. Now to get this thing up on the network for the first time, okay? This is very easy, and um, you need to follow my instructions though, because otherwise. You'll wind up with a mess on your hands, and you don't want to do that, okay? So, uh, we'll turn it off. Now, when you first get the thing, okay, what I want you to do, plug it all in and everything, right? Get your controller ready. Pull the hard drive door, and then I want you to pull... Oh, brand new. Yes, brand new. I want you to pull the hard drive out, okay, right? Then what I want you to do, then I want you to go ahead and I want you to boot the console, okay? 
Now, when she boots, she's going to go to the original Xbox uh, dashboard, the Blackboard screen. You're not going to have any, you know, it's not going to be online or anything like that yet. Okay? So, she boots, and yes, it, it boots really good. It's a, it's a pretty fast booter. She runs pretty good. She'll run, she'll, she'll run between one and three cycles, you know? All right. Now, okay. So, we go up. We go over. We bring it to settings. We bring it to system. All right. Then, we go to network settings. Pretty easy. Right now, as you can see, my network is already selected. You're just going to pop up over here. I want you to click on it. When you do, put your password in, okay? When you put your password in, it's going to test the Xbox Live connection like this. You're going to get a check mark and two red X's. When you get a check mark and two red X's, life is grand, okay? So what we want to do, we want to cancel out of that, okay? Now, the only one that you got to be concerned with is this one right here. That one's got to have a check mark. I don't care what the other two do, all right? Just that one right there. You got that, you're good, okay? If you don't have that, there's a problem with your router. You need to check your router out and find out why it's not letting the Xbox 360 on your local area network, okay? So, if you have this screen, you're good to go. Life is grand, all right? Once you get that screen, shut the console down. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead. I want you to plug the hard drive back in. You'll feel its seat. It'll seat with a click, just like that. Close the drive door, okay? Then I want you to pull the power on it. And leave the power out for five minutes, okay? Because if you don't do that, I can guarantee you will rip your hair out, okay? It will not work. You will not get online. It will drive you crazy. And then ten minutes later, all of a sudden, it will pop up that it connected, okay? You don't want to deal with that, okay? So we leave this out for five minutes. Now, as for me, normally this doesn't backfire, okay? As for me, I can plug it back in. Why? Because it's on my network. The credentials are right, okay? But for you, it's going to be different. you got to flush the buffers, man. So that's just the way it's got to be. You know, when you first hook it up on, onto your local area network, all right? Now, once that's done, plug it back in. Once five minutes is up and everything, boot the console, okay? Now, when the console boots, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set you up right here. Okay. Yeah, let's see, I'm going to stick my controller up here, okay? And I think my monitor went crazy. Most likely it didn't. Yep, it did. <laughs> you got to love that. Okay, all right, so now it booted, okay, now what's going to happen is that you're going to see this green stuff stop moving around, which is good, then you're going to hear the fan speed kick up, then you're going to see plugins come across, okay, and your notifications are going to pop up, all right, now when that happens, it's a good thing because we're halfway there. Now, what you're going to do is, is once you get your final, uh, once you get your final notification for the purge, I want you to go over to your homebrew section right here, all right, once you click on the homebrew section, and then what I want you to do is this, okay? I want you to go into the Xbox 360 dashboard. Hit it, hit it again, okay? Now, all right. Now, once this pops up, okay, what, what, I want you, what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and I want you to hit Download Profile, okay? Now, if you have an existing profile, download it, okay? If you do not, go to xboxlive.com slash live. Make yourself a profile. Use Outlook for the credentials, okay? Make the profile, then download it, okay? If you're online and everything is right, okay, it should, you should be able, it should spin you around, it should sign in, you see the spinning circle here, and it'll bring up gold, there's your, there's your character, whatever, whoop, off she goes, okay, like this great, she's, she's fingering herself right now off screen, I know that, I seen her do it, I swear, to, I, I, I swear I did, no, yeah, no, yeah, nah, she wants to, but she knows that I'm going to try and catch her doing that, okay, because Microsoft has dirty minds, all right. So anyway, um, <laughs> now look, all right, if you have a problem, and this is only if you have a problem downloading your profile, what I mean by that is, is when you download it, it takes 15 minutes and you're sitting there and still going and going and going. Just stop right there and just hit B to cancel, okay? Come to the screen right here. Go up, go over, go to settings, go to system, go to storage, okay? Click on storage. All right, you will see the hard drive. There's only one gigabyte free. That's how stuck this damn thing is. Okay, now, what you're going to do, you're going to select it, okay? And then what you're going to do, you're going to go to profiles. And underneath this profile, you're going to see another profile, which is going to be yours. The one that is being a pain in the ass. All right, so what you want to do is you want to, you know, you want to select it. Hit A. And then what I want you to do, I want you to hit delete. And delete the profile right off the hard drive, okay? Once you're done deleting it, Okay, just delete the profile, not the items or anything, just the, just the profile, okay? Now, once you delete it, hit B, all right? And then what I want you to do, I want you to leave the hard drive highlighted, I want you to hit Y. And then I want you to go to Clear System Cache, and I want you to do it twice. Why? Because Microsoft, again, has dirty minds. What am I going to tell you? 
Okay, so, and they don't believe in cleaning up after themselves correctly with one with one command. No, you got to do it twice, okay? Jesus. Okay. Now, once that's done, then back out, go up, go back over, go to social, go down to sign in or sign out, okay? And then, you know, go to download your profile. It will download and it will work this time, okay? Then, once that's done, hit the guide button, go to Xbox Home. All right, and then what I want you to do is I want you to do one more thing before you start playing because I want to make sure everything's unlocked for you, all right? This is very simple. It's not hard. It's, it's pretty easy, okay? I want you to go over with your profile signed in, go to Homebrew. Then what I want you to do, I want you to go to XM360. I want you to click on it and click on it again. Now it's going to take it a minute because it's got to load all the downloadable content and all the XBLA content from the hard drive and it's got it's got to scan it and find it okay then once it finds it and scans it life is going to be great okay what you're going to do then is once that happens then you're going to select xbla and you're going to select all okay once you select all what i want you to do is i want you to go ahead and i want you to unlock it okay now as you can see there it all is okay it's already unlocked okay but we're going to do it anyway just for haha -ha sake go to unlock xbla hit a all right and it'll unlock everything. Then go to show DLC. Alright. There's all your DLC. Okay. Go to unlock DLC. Hit it. Now this profile is going to unlock about 10 of them. Okay. I do believe. Yep. There you go. So it'll unlock 10 DLC files. You can have the downloadable content. The problem is, is that if it's not unlocked your profile. Okay. Uh, you know. You don't want to put a mess on your hands because you won't be able to access it. Okay. So anyway. You unlock it. Hit OK. Life is grand. Then go to exit the dash. And now you are free to run around and put dildos on people's foreheads and everything else and do whatever it is that you want to do. Now, you can give them two anuses if you want. It's all good. Okay? Now, all right. Now, once that's done, okay, now I'm going to show you something here. All right? Now, emulators, they all work just fine with, you know, with the server on, server off, or whatever. Can't sign in. Yeah, I know. Typical, typical freaking Microsoft. What am I going to tell you? Okay? Now, all right. Now, when it comes to Xbox Classic Games, all right, you can click on it, all right, it'll bring up the games, right, but when you try to play it with the server on, it is going to give you a black screen, not cool, all right, there you are, it's locked up, it's done, it doesn't know which end is up, it's just sitting there going, like Microsoft, okay, so, after a Windows update, <laughs> now, okay, how do we fix this, it's pretty easy, power it off, okay, now, you just don't play with the server on. It's that simple. So what you're going to do, you put it in bypass mode, okay? Bypass mode is simply power, get eject, leave the tray hanging out until it boots and it gets to FSD dash. Do not push the tray in. If you push the tray in, you're going to wind up with a mess on your hands because what can happen, it could send a signal to the processor saying, oh, I want the server loaded too. And then you wonder why the damn thing doesn't freaking, you know, play the classic games, okay? So anyway, you shouldn't have nothing loaded, no plugins, no server notifications, no nothing. Okay, once you get the FSD, then close the drive tray. All right, it's pretty easy. There you go. Then what we're going to do here, we go ahead, we grab our controller, we sync our controller. We go on over, let's see here. We go on over to Xbox Classic Games, and as you can see in the guide, we have a normal guide. Okay, that's what we want. Grand Theft Auto 3, we'll hit it. Okay, you'll see the logos pop up. And uh, pretty much, uh, there you go, and it's going to load the game and play the game, okay? Now, to get out of the game, okay, once it's done, as you can see, there you go. God almighty. <laughs> Boy, that's so far away. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, as you can see, there you are, and there's Grand Theft Auto 3, and it's playing, okay? Okay? Now, to get out of the game, okay, all you got to do is hit the die button. Okay, and then go to Xbox Home, and hit yes, and there you are, so, let's see, sure I can Brody, no problem, Wayne, my vacation was wonderful, okay, it was simply wonderful, alright, Quintarius, how are you, Jacqueline, yeah, uh, did you, did Lorraine get you the TV, um, and, um, you know, as I was saying, Jonathan, Thank you very much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it, okay? And, um, you know, as I was saying, you know, we'll get this shipped off to you tomorrow, all right? Uh, we'll have a tracking number for you tonight. 
Okay, I got quite a few more to do. All right, I also got to do a Deadpool one. It's going to be quite interesting because I have ideas in my head. So anyway, okay, listen, thank you so much once again. I greatly do appreciate it. You all have a good one and be safe. And I'll holler at you in a little bit, okay? So thanks for watching. All right, love you guys and it's good to see you. As you can tell, I'm kind of laid back right now. I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm in the zone. I'm zoning. It's good. Y'all have a good one. I'll let you later, guys.